I'm Terrell Starr. I'm a senior editor and bachelor. You're watching Madame Boire. So I wrote an article for The Root about the fact that I hadn't had a girlfriend since my freshman year in college and I had no idea that once I wrote the piece and it went to print that people would be giving me this much attention and that people actually cared about my dating life of all people in the world. I never spent a lot of time on social media talking about my dating status, but a lot of my female followers are very curious about it and I'm always open to discussing it with them. And it's something that is always a reoccurring issue on my, on my Twitter feed, on my timeline. But I don't feel the pressure from parents so much as this issue of how come you're not married or you have a serious relationship, are you gay? Because people have this image of me. They're like, you're an attractive guy, you're this, you're that, all these pluses. And I never look at myself that way. I focus, I look to my social media, my Twitter handle to do a lot of my work. But people look at me for other things and saying, oh, you're single, how come you're not out there? So it's more of a, well, there's something wrong with you if you're a guy and you're not dating so it must be something with your sexuality. Most of my friends who are 34, they have children, they have a family, they're married. I don't have that conversation with a lot of my male friends simply because we're just in different spaces in our lives. The most that I learned from the responses to my piece, I read a few pieces that were published here at Madame Moir. The most constructive thing I got out of it is that I probably don't know how to date. That's the most constructive feedback that I got. And that part, I'll accept that. And because I have this long dating period, maybe people have given me signs that they were interested and I didn't notice them. I accept that too. So for me, I think it's just more important just to get to know people to see what I'm into and what I'm like as opposed to me just kind of diving into the marriage thing. I want to do that, but because I have not dated, I really need to get a grip on what I want. No, I don't want to date. I don't want to marry anyone out of my race, but I did have a few relationships. They were very short. I wouldn't even say they were relationships. I mean, they were just kind of like, they are friends and we hooked up. That was the most that it was. And I know those people, even to this day, just like that. But <clears throat> when I, traveled in Europe, particularly as a Fulbright scholar, my research focused on black women. And people don't know that. People make the assumption that because I have this time and this experience in Eastern Europe that I'm into white women. It's not true. I'm like, damn, can a brother like Russian? Can I speak Russian? Can I speak another freaking language? When I have conversations with women, the feedback that I get is that they're 34, they're thinking about children, or either they have children, and maybe they've had a relationship and maybe that relationship did not work out as well as they wanted it to work out and they come back with learning lessons and some of those learning lessons is their requirements would be i don't want a man who's this 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 or this. that's fine that's not the issue the issue is that when i step into that picture i'm starting i'm beginning my life and some and many women have not begun their lives professionally. They've been out there years and so forth. They've been out there 10 years, a decade. They've had different relationships. And I don't want to be perceived as a project. That's all I'm saying. Now, I almost feel like I have to hashtag this, not all women. I mean, seriously, I, I didn't say that. I'm saying in my conversations, that's what's come up. Again, the feedback is maybe you need to expand your networks. I accept that. But again, I feel like I have had a variety of people who converse with me because people who work in media, they could be making, you know, they, it's writers and things. They could be in those figures too. And all I'm saying is that it's a much more important issue to many women who are in my particular age group than they care to admit. How am I going to end my single streak and am I going to pursue online dating? What types of dating am I going to pursue? Well, 
given the reaction from my article, I feel like I've kind of already begun the online process, at least through my Twitter timeline <laughs> and, my, and my mentions. Um, I'll pursue online dating definitely because I feel like it's a perfect platform to which you can find what you want and people can find if you are what they want and to basically put myself out there in all of this the most constructive feedback i've gotten is that i need to continue to expand and it's harder to date and find a person that is a good match for you uh, than i even realize so i'm going to speak to my friends about it more i'm going to continue to gauge people on twitter because I, I have to follow through on some people saying, well, Terrell, this person wants to talk to you. This person wants to talk to you. So I'm going to try that. So a lot of the work has been done for me. And most of the reaction I've gotten has been overwhelmingly positive. Of course, you got people on Facebook and who are going to say what they want to say. But at least on Twitter, people are very positive. I have hundreds <laughs> of people who started following me in hours, like hundreds. I was amazed. So I don't see myself being seen with alone because I have so many people giving me options. So I think, but definitely online, I'll, I'll start there.